Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to share with you some empties and I might even talk about some favorites. It really all depends on how long this video is. So anyways, if you're new here, thank you for joining me. Please consider subscribing. I talk a little bit about everything. I'm a beauty and lifestyle channel. I'm 60 nine years old. I can't believe I'm 69. Oh my gosh. I'm 69 years old. I'm going to be 70 next February. That freaks me out. But anyways, um, so my channel can be makeup, skincare, camping, biking, RVing, a little bit of everything. It's Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle. So I hope you enjoy my content. I hope you come back and please subscribe if you have not. Leave me a comment, like the video. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you for joining me and stay tuned. Okay then, so let me just first tell you that um, I am more of a tried and true type of a person. I like to use sort of the same products. I, I don't like to deviate off of my skincare. If I find something that works, I'm very reluctant to play around with it. So uh, it might be boring as far as my empties are concerned, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, share my empties with you. So I had actually bought this and normally I, end up dating some of my products, but I didn't date this. I don't even know if Soap & Glory still has this, but this is the Soap & Glory um, Deep Cleansing Milk. This is peaches and clean, it says. I've used this all up. I've had this for quite a while. Um, I, I'm very fussy on what I use on my face, you know, but I've had this for quite a while. I put it out in the motorhome and then I brought it in the house because I, I don't want to waste something that I spent money on, you know, it, or anything in general. I really don't want to waste something. So this, while I liked it, I won't repurchase it. I didn't like it enough. I liked it that I would continue to use it. It did a good job cleaning my face, but he did not even come close to my favorite cleanser, which is the Peaches Classic Face Cleanser. This is from Peaches Skin Care. This was initially sent to me complimentary in exchange for review. I love this product. I love their exfoliator. I love their face polish. I do not like their vitamin C. It doesn't, on my skin anyways, play nice under my makeup, but I love their cleansing line. And I also use their exfoliator. Love that, not their exfoliator, their um, toner. I was drawing a blank. <laughs> I use their toner and I really, really like that. So both of these are empty. This is a no repurchase. This is definitely a purchase for me. Highly recommend it for you if you've not tried it to really consider trying it. Um, it, it really gets my face clean. Now I do do a double cleanse. I use the, the DHC, the uh, deep cleansing oil. I really like that a lot. It's something that I bought over and over again. I'm on auto ship. I use that. It just really cleans my skin and takes everything off. And then when I go in with my peaches cleanser, I'm like super, super clean. Love it. I am a huge fan of using what I consider eye patches. I use eye patches under my eyes every single morning. I go to sleep every single night with facial patches. These are my frownies. I put them on my 11s. And when I get up in the morning, I still have them on my 11s and I put whatever eye patches I'm using. I have completely finished this one. This is from Good Molecules. I have bought this um, at Alter, I believe. And this is the Caffeine en Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. I love these. When I put these on, pat them in in the morning. I put my eye drops on, pat this in in the morning. I keep my frowny on until I'm ready to stop my skincare. I put these patches on. When I take the patches off, and sometimes I don't take the patches off until after I've done my eye makeup, right? So because like my eyeshadow, whatever, I, I, I do things a little bit backwards, but I'll take the patches off. I can see 
a difference in my skin underneath it. Sometimes I say, wow, I wish they would just make one for my whole face. I use other, you know, masks on my face and they leave my skin feeling good. But when I use my eye mask, maybe because I can see the difference easier, right? But what a difference the skin under my eyes are. And I use a couple of different ones. I have a few that were sent to me for my birthday from Sheila Life with Lily. Um, or simply Sheila on, on YouTube. I love, 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 love them. These I'm out of. I will purchase these again without a doubt. They're just, they were well worth it. Frownies. I've bought my frownies again. I, you know, I, for me, frownies, especially with all of the things that I've gone through the last couple of months, you know, where I know in my sleep I'm scrolling, scrolling, frowning and all that stuff. The frownies super helped me. I did have the shot of, um, it's, it's begins with an E like Botox. I mentioned it in my video. I did have that on my 11s. I did that March 1st. And I saw a huge difference in my 11s, even though nobody else did. I saw a huge difference in my 11s. So, but I have still, even though I had that, I still wear the frownies because I figure it's not going to hurt, right? And so, absolutely repurchased, already have them. This I have not yet repurchased because, like I said, I've got a few different patches that I'm working my way through that I got from Sheila. I finished my Ordinary Buffet. I love the Ordinary products. I've used uh, the Ordinary products for quite a while. But this one is completely out. I will repurchase this, just not now, because I have enough other serums that I'm using. One being the copper peptides from the Buffet. This is the Buffet with the copper peptides. I bought this quite a while ago. It's a little less than half full. So I'm gonna finish using this. I do like this a lot. I probably use this two or three times a week. And then this was sent to me from Simple Science, um, Agiline Amplified Peptide Booster Serum. So I use this as well. This is probably three quarters full still. So I've got plenty in here to use. Um, so it's not empty. But as far as the ordinary is concerned, you can't beat their prices and you can now find them uh, i've got this on an ulta i think you can maybe find them in target too i'm not too sure i don't have a target near me but anyways i like this a lot a real lot so i would highly recommend anyone that's thinking of getting a peptide to consider doing that fiera citrus stem sea serum so i love this i love my fiera my concealer that I got from Fiera is my favorite, my favorite, 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 favorite concealer. I love, love, love it. I use it every single day. I put it on my scar. I cover up some of my veins. I really, really love that concealer. So far, everything I have tried from Fiera, I have loved. This is their Citrus Stem C Serum. I'm very, very fussy on vitamin C's because I, I wear makeup, I wear sunblock, I wear you know foundation, and I need some, some vitamin C's that I try no matter how I put them on, no matter how long I wait before I put my makeup on, my, my makeup will pill. I have to, my hand looks horrible. I got this bite back in April. And it's still, it's healed a lot, but it still looks really bad. I have no idea what it is. But anyways, vitamin C is really hard for me. So Fiera, I love this vitamin C, highly recommend it. I will definitely purchase this vitamin C. Right now I'm using, uh, I'm finishing through, I'm going through Timeless. That's my, my second favorite vitamin C is Timeless. They had a big sale, I bought it. Um, I really, really like this. The third favorite that I have on vitamin C is going to be Inky List. This was recommended from Sheila. I'm all out of this one. I'm all out of this one. So these are two vitamin C serums that I've used. All, both of them are in the pump. My Timeless is in the pump as well now. So no longer in the droppers um, because it can oxidize and all that stuff. Highly recommend either one of these, whichever one you prefer, but I use a vitamin C every day of my life. Every day of my life. It is a, vitamin C is a must for me. I, ha, I have to use a vitamin C. 
I ran out of my hair product that I absolutely love, which is my body sculpt. This is from All Nutrient. This is a sculpting lotion. This is what I put on my hair when my hair is wet and then I blow dry my hair or then start to style my hair. I love this sculpting lotion. Awesome stuff. I get it from a hairdresser's. I believe they're sold on Amazon. I'll do, I think I have it in my Amazon store. I'll link that. But I buy mine typically from my hairdresser. She has, you know, most of my hair products that I use on a regular basis, my shampoo, um, all of that stuff I usually pick up from her. My hairspray, I don't. I'm a Walmart person when it comes to my hairspray. But this works really great on my fine hair. I put it on wet, put a little bit on my palm, work it through my hair, and then it gives me, just gives me some body, right? Because otherwise my, my hair is so thin, it's fine and limp, it gives me some body. So I could not, in fact, one time we went camping and I didn't bring it with me. I was freaking out trying to do my hair. Went to the store, I, looked, I bought a bunch of other, you know, brands that I could find that was supposed to be a sculpting lotion. None of them compared to this, none of them. So now I have it in a small thing for travel. I have one in my motorhome and I have one at the house. I will not be without this for my, my fine hair. I love it. Body amplifier works perfect for me. I also use Topic. I'm all out of this one. This is the medium brown, because I like my hair to have a little bit of a root, I prefer a medium brown. I prefer this kind of a color. So I bought this one. I have probably three other containers of Topics. I also probably have about three or four other fiber building the same idea, different brands. Topics is expensive. There are many off brands that are equally as good. I've talked about them in my, my videos. They're equally as good that I would buy. They're a little bit cheaper. I buy them on for Amazon, the Amazon, but this is empty. Do I like it? Yes. Will I repurchase it? Not unless I can't find this exact shade some in another brand because other brands are much more affordable and they're just as good in my opinion. They're just as good. So finish my Estee Lauder. <laughs> Yay! Um, Estee Lauder for me, this is Pebble. The color I wear is uh, 3C2 Pebble. Estee Lauder for me is my tried and true. Now, I know some people hate Estee Lauder, they hate the company. Um, I happen to love the Double Wear Foundation. I wear very little of it, I don't put a whole lot on, but I absolutely love it. It lasts for me, it looks really good on my skin, up close and personal in real life. It looks really, really good. I like this a lot. I'm all out of it. I already have my replacement, so I'm not at all worried about it, but Double Wear Foundation. I actually buy it at the cosmetic company store. I don't know if you guys have a cosmetic company store near you, but the cosmetic company store near me, there's three of them actually, uh, one is pretty close and the other two are about an hour to an hour and a half away. So depending on what part of the world I'm in, I'm going to be checking that out. You know, go to cosmetic company stores. They have Too Faced, they have Clinique, um, oh my gosh, Bobby, Bobby Brown, I think. They've got a bunch of different products, a bunch of different products. So I, if I luck out and I see my shade at the cosmetic company store for my Estee Lauder, I'll buy however many bottles I can. Last time I went, I bought three. So I'm really, I'm really glad I get the three because now I'm on my last one. And um, I would have two left, but I had dropped a bottle when I was away on vacation and broke it because it's glass. And all, not, I couldn't use it, right? It's all glass, glass shattered. So I had to throw out a whole bottle of my Estee Lauder foundation, which really freaked me out. So anyways, um, yeah. So <laughs> that's my, that's my, um, that's my MTs. I think this is probably, I don't even know how long it is, but it's probably too long for me to continue on. I'm gonna go and do a video on my favorites. Uh, but before I end this, I'm going to just answer a couple of questions on my hair. So my hair is, um, I, as many of you know, I've been wearing toppers for a long time. I 
when I had my hair longer, I would put it up in a twisty bun and I would put a fake bun on and all that stuff. And I love, love doing that. But currently in my hair, I take the oral version of Rogaine Minoxidil, no, Minoxidil, I can never say it, the oral version of that. I take that pill once a day. I have been doing that since February 14th, I believe, on my birthday when I went to the doctors. And um, every day, compared to when I was doing, say, the Rogaine, I would skip a day. It would always be harder for me to do the liquid. So I have been doing that every single day. Plus, I take a lot of different vitamins, not necessarily for my hair, but vitamins. And I take collagen. I take my collagen powder every single day. So I've been, I've been doing that. And since... Um, I've noticed a big difference in my hair. My fallout is a lot less. I've mentioned that before since I've been on the prescription from the pill. Um, my fallout is a lot less and I feel that my hair is, is much better. Now, when I went camping, I brought a topper with me just in case because if I can't fix my hair, I'll stick a topper on, it doesn't matter to me. I also brought a wig with me, right? Because I love my wigs. I have some of my wigs that are just my perfect favorite wigs. Now, I had gotten the um, Candy Way External Glow MD Face Mask that I have shared in other videos. Well, lately I've been putting that on my hair as well. But just to answer your question, um, yes, I feel that the prescription, and it's so stinking cheap, I think it cost me five bucks a month, uh, five bucks, is it a month supply? Yeah, it's 30 days, um, five bucks. You know, granted I have insurance, but I don't think it's an expensive product even if you didn't have insurance. But it is a prescription, so I've been, I have been using that a lot. Um, so I just wanted to mention that because I get people that ask me that all the time about my hair. So this is my, my hair. This is, I don't have any extensions. I don't have any toppers on. Um, this, this is basically my hair. And um, I cut it sort of in a wedgie style in the back, a little bit longer in the sides. And, uh, and I, like, I like the cut. And so, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to mention the hair thing because you guys ask. And my next video will be my favorites. I hope you stay tuned for that. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope everything is super happy in your life. And thank you for spending whatever it is, 15, 18 minutes with me today watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye-bye.